Well, hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. We made a lot of custom cars in the last uh, couple of years, including um, Rusty's The King, Next Gen Chick Hicks, Next Gen Lightning McQueen, and Next Gen The King. And we have Jackson Storm here. We're using that body shell as all of the Next Gens. But I found a new website that shows new fancy cars. And this one here is called Steel Blue Jackson Storm. So I took our Jackson Storm, I drilled out the rivets, removed the entire shell and taped off the eyes and the sides and I'm going to attempt to make steel blue Jackson Storm. I went and bought some paint just now and I had to prime it first with a nice primer gray. I bought a new primer gray. We're going to use that first and I also by the way bought a brand new Jackson Storm so I wouldn't be without. This is a brand spanking new one. I didn't want to use that one so I used the one I've been using all along as a template. So I'm going to, it's all taped off now so I'm just going to um, clean up a spot here and put a nice coat of primer gray on see how it looks. And I want to thank you guys for watching and that their site is really cool. It shows all the newest cars coming out. And here's what the inside of the car looks like. There's the shell. There's two sets of wheels and there's the back window and the spoiler. They all stay the same and it's going to put a nice coat of primer gray right here. Okay, it's been a really long time since I spray painted the car down here. So I want to do a really good job because these guys that are professionals, they make really good custom cars. I've been making them but not, not really fancy. So I'm just going to line it up here with my new primer gray and I'm going to Try and get a nice coat on it. Okay, first time I use this paint. Look at that. It's going out really nice. Just going to turn it around a little bit to get the other side so you can see it. And there it goes. Everything else in the back is taped off, including the eyes and the headlight. Look at that. It's beautiful. Wow. I just might make Silver Jackson Storm next time. Looks pretty good. Now the back stays the same. Just another little touch right here. Okay, we'll leave that dry under the heat lamp. We'll come back and put a nice coat of steel blue on it. See how it looks. There's my steel blue. I hope it looks good. Now let's have a look. Silver dried really nice, as you can see. This is, um, I spent more time on this car than any car I ever made, I think. I think I see a mistake. A little bit of tape, I think it's right here. I'll have to peel that off. Yeah, there's a little bit of tape there that I missed when I taped it off, so I have to spray that front again. Hang on. Here it goes, just a touch. So we'll leave that dry again and come back and uh, hope that their ridge will disappear when I put the nice finished blue on. Okay, we're back and I know that didn't come out perfect where the paint was, but uh, hope it'll disappear. I'm just going to try and put a nice first coat of steel blue on the shell right now, see how it looks. And I want to thank all you guys for watching and uh, of course the people who are doing this do a really good job of it. This is my first try at a really good job of it, so let's see how it turns out. Okay, here we go. I've got a blue paint. I'm going to try it from a distance, see how it looks. That looks pretty good for a first coat. I'm going to leave that sit and come back and put another dusting on and see how it looks. Well, I have to admit that first coat went on really nice. The steel blue. Now I'm going to try and put another dusting on and see how it looks. Here we go. We're all set from a long distance away. Definitely all the paint I'm going to put on that car. I'm going to leave this sit for quite some time now until it dries and then I'll come back and uh, peel off the tape and see what kind of a job I did. And I hope I did a pretty good job. But other than that, the paint looks great. What do you think? Okay, I'm back and I got to tell you, it's dry and it came really good. I'm not too comfortable taking off the tape yet in front of the camera because I'm scared it'll tear the paint. So I'm going to leave it dry a bit and come back and see how it looks. That looks really good. Well, I have to admit, I'm kind of disappointed. I put tape on to hold to um, block the paint, but the tape kind of stuck to the side of the car and took a big piece of the stripe off, see it? And there's a residue now of the tape on the rest of the car where I uh, tried to get it off without hurting it. See, it took the stripe off that side too. But other than that, it came pretty good. I like the color. I'm gonna put it back together again to see how it looks now, okay? So let's sit back and we'll put it all back together. Well, here's what I wanted to make, Steel Blue Jackson Storm, and here's what I turned out to make. 
it looks like Steel Blue Jacks is done, except the big piece missing off the sticker there. Everything's um, close as I can get it. It's one of my best ones, except for that peeling tape. And I printed off with the uh, printer on some decal paper the sides of Jackson Storm. See them? So I'm going to attempt to cut them out and stick them on this video. And I also printed off a whole bunch more decals I could stick on Jackson Storm. Uh, there's one I like right there, 66. I'm gonna make another car pretty soon with a lot of these decals on to see how it looks. So you can keep keep that in mind, send me in some ideas what you want me to make. But right now I'm gonna cut these decals out and try and stick them on this to make that look better because it came out pretty bad. So let's get the scissors and see how it goes. I'm gonna do a lot of this off camera. So it's really delicate and I don't wanna make a mistake. I'm just gonna show you initially cutting out the sides for Jackson Storm. And then I'm gonna stick them on and hopefully it looks better. I'm not sure how this is gonna look. This is the first time I tried it. So I'm just gonna cut this right down the middle. And then I'll come back when they're completely cut out and I'll see if I can put these on and make the car look perfect. Okay, we'll come back in a few minutes and see how this looks. There's the side look. Perfect. Okay. That didn't take as long as I thought, and these are the two decals that I'm going to attempt to put on the car. It appears that the proportion is off a little bit, and one, they seem a little, a little more bigger than I thought, actually, but I'm going to try and put them on anyway and trim the bottom off when I get them on. So let's uh, try this side first. I actually cleaned the car off yesterday, so it's not going to be any problem sticking to it. I'm just going to peel off the label. This is my first attempt at using decals in a video so I'm kind of new at it so I don't know how it's going to turn out. Some guys are really really good at it and I love watching their videos. But anyway, let's try it see what happens. Just right over the car. I'll turn the bottom off later. A little bit big I can tell but uh, not much to do with that right now. I'm committed right now so I'm just going to trim it off later. So that's that came pretty good on that side. Now let's put the side on. Okay, this is a thick. Some guys use wet labels. They um, put them in water for 30 seconds and they slide right off. But I didn't get them. I didn't know if they had them at the store, so I just bought decal paper. So I don't know how it's going to work out. Okay, let me come back and I'll trim the bottom off and we'll see how this looks when it's completely done. Okay, I got both sides on, and they gotta admit, they came pretty good. Not exactly um, perfect, that's for sure, but let's put the car all back together and see how it looks now with the new sides on it. First, I'll install the back window. Just snuff the rivet there to hold it in place. Okay, and there's the finished product. Steel Blue Jackson Storm with decals on the sides to fix the uh, paint that peeled off. What do you think? Oops, I had to re glue that bottom part. The chassis is still coming apart on me there. But anyway, it's all back together. Send me your opinions and give me some ideas for new videos. Like I said, I got all kinds of decals now for the next car I'm gonna do. I'm gonna strip them, spray paint them, and refinish them and make new Pixar cars custom using some spray paint. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you liked the video. Patching it up here. Have a great day.